Welcome back to another review slash reveal. Today, Chase Elliott, uh, his Napa Charlotte Roval win. Um, this is an Elite, and we're going to open it up and check it out. Alrighty, so, as you can see, we have the Elite. It is, unfortunately, one of 1,036 2021-2020 Camaro ZL1 Napa Charlotte win. Um, I get the Elites usually to hope for, like, a smaller um, production number, but sometimes it don't happen, which is fine. You can see the card real quick. Everything else is all the usual. You also get a win sticker, which you can see there. It has the antennas on the plastic, and here it is. So, I need to get something to open the hood, but while we do that, we can check the trunk lid out. Maybe. Maybe? Jeez, that was kind of stuck. That was weird. But we'll take a look in there. Um, it is 226, so, <laughs> I mean, statistically, it's a lower number out of a 1,000. But nothing too crazy on this car. Um, a couple dents, a little bit of dirt. You can see it's kind of yellow, not yellow, browned, dirty. And you know what? Oh, it does have the windshield wiper, I was gonna say. But again, to the front, a lot of dirt, dirt marks, dirt scuffs. The Napa looks pretty clean. It's a clean scheme, it's the usual. Nothing crazy. For Chase Elliott, sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, we'll just take a look around the car. And I guess that looks like a dent, yeah. Okay. Interesting right here, how that's a decal? I actually don't know what that is. I guess they change it for the road courses, I don't know. But you can see that there's no window for the road courses. I don't know if that's purely accurate right there. Take a look at the back end and the top. And we'll just take a sneak peek at the inside of the hood just to get the full details since it is an Elite as well. Got the Chevy logo there and all the usual inside. Not the greatest view. Also not the easiest to handle with one hand. But that's it. That is the Chase Elliott Robo car. I believe I did do a video on the 164, which is right here. 2020 Charlotte Wynn. You can kind of compare the tops a little bit. The uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty accurate, I guess, because it's it's missing, you know, the camera and whatnot. So, looks pretty spot on. I guess they probably just use the same uh, template anyway and just pop it onto the mold. So, sorry, a little distracted through this video. I uh, try to just get it done, and uh, so you guys can see it and make a judgment for yourself whether you want one or not if they are available. So, I hope you guys got your hands on one if you were looking for it, and uh, enjoy.